Well, hello everybody. Hopefully you're doing well, keeping safe, keeping warm. Actually, today's a relatively warm day. Um, I actually just got done at Marion Tallgrass Trail. Uh, we helped dedicated a uh, purple Martin box for former Judge uh, Deborah Osball. And uh, we definitely like to thank the Marion County Family Court, um, everybody who was involved with that project. So we're hoping in the near future, we will have some purple Martins out at the Marion Community Foundation Lake. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to dive in in our story time in nature. So uh, again, my name is uh, Natchez James Anderson, and I'm the Natchez for the Marion County Park District. So I'm, today I'm here at the uh, Myers Woods Nature Preserve, which is our park outside of the village of Morrill, uh, right across from the Kildare Plains Wildlife Area. So I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but uh, my son has actually requested uh, doing this. So this is, he actually just got this book, uh, I want to say a week or two ago, but it's called Don't Wake Up the Bear. Uh, it's by um, Morgiri Dennis Murray and illustrated by Patricia Whitman. So I don't know if I pronounced that right, but uh, but yeah, he it's all about animal hibernation, um, or at least uh, a little fun story about it. So without further ado, let's dive on in. All right. One cold winter's eve, a bear laid asleep in his cave. The bear was big, the bear was soft, and the bear was warm. In the woods, a silver hare stopped to rest. She noticed the bear. My ears are so cold, said the hare. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. And since her ears were so cold and the bear was fast asleep, she did. Ooh, she's a brave little hare. A badger came by. His muzzle was white with snow. He saw the hare snuggled against the bear. My nose is so cold, said the badger. I, I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. Ah, you may come in, whispered the hare, but don't wake up the bear. And since the badger's nose was so cold and the bear was fast asleep, he did. Oh my. Along came a fox. He saw the badger and the hare snuggled against the bear. Ah, my legs are so cold, said the fox. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. Ah, you may come in, whispered the hare, but don't wake up the bear. And since the fox's legs were so cold and the bear was fast asleep, he did. A squirrel scampered out of his tree. He saw the fox and the badger and the hare snuggled against the bear. My toes are so cold, said the squirrel. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. Well, you may come in, whispered the hare, but don't wake up the bear. And since the squirrel's toes were so cold and the bear was fast asleep, he did. A little mouse skirted by, slipping on ice. She saw the squirrel and the fox and the badger and the hare snuggled against the bear. My, my tail is so, so cold, sniffled the mouse. I, I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. Ah, you may come in, whispered the hare. And then she said, but don't wake up the bear. And since the bear's ears looked so soft and the bear was fast asleep, she did. In the woods, snowflakes drifted down, softly, softly down, and everything was quiet. Until from deep within the darkness and comfy, cozy softness, there came a little sniffle, and the mouse awoke with a twitchy little nose and a great big sniffle. Hush, whispered the hare, and then she said, don't wake up the bear. But the mouse didn't hear. She was much too busy scritching her, her, her nose and sniffling. She sniffed and she sniffled and she sniffled and she sniffed. Hush, said the squirrel and the fox and the bear and the badger. And then they said, Don't wake up the bear. From the middle of the bear, there came a rumble and a grumble. I, I, I'm so, so sorry, said the mouse. I... I have a cold. I, I have to. Achoo! 
she sneezed right in the bear's ears and the bear shuddered and the bear trembled and the bear rumbled and the bear grumbled and the bear woke up. Oh no. And he was a very hungry bear. And he looked around and he saw the mouse and he saw the squirrel and he saw the fox and he saw the badger and he saw the hare and then he opened wide his huge bear mouth. Oh no, what do you think happened next? And the and growl the loudest growl I'd ever, ever heard from a bear. Growl! The, the mouse froze with terror. I think I would too. <laughs> Run, little mouse, shouted the squirrel and the fox and the badger and the hare. He's hungry. This time the little mouse listened and she couldn't help but hear. And away they all ran, the mouse, the squirrel, the fox, the badger, the hare, slipping and sliding through the woods as fast as they could go. And the bear, he yawned, a big, soft, warm bear, yawn, stumbled to his feet and trugged off through the snow to find something to eat. All right, boys and girls, well, I hope you enjoy that story. So yeah, this is definitely the time of year. A lot of our animals either have migrated, preparing for winter, or are about to go into hibernation. So guys, have fun, be safe, but most of all, go out and explore your Marion County Parks. I'm Natchez James Anderson, and I'll see you next time, Storytime in Nature. Take care, everybody.